In this video, we will be determining the horizontal intercepts of various functions. A horizontal intercept, often referred to as an x-intercept, is a point at which the graph crosses or intersects the horizontal axis. If we take a look at the graph below, notice how for all of these points on the horizontal axis, the y value or function value is equal to zero. This indicates how we determine the horizontal intercepts. We always set the y value or function value, or if we want the output equal to zero, and then solve for the input variable, which is normally x. To summarize, the output value of a horizontal intercept is always zero. The coordinates of a horizontal intercept will always be in the form of x comma zero. And to determine the horizontal intercepts of any function, we can say we set the output equal to zero and then solve for the input, or we can say we set f of x equal to zero, or y equal to zero, and then solve for x. Let's look at some examples. The first function is f of x equals x squared plus three x minus 10. This is a degree two polynomial function, which we call a quadratic function. And now to determine the horizontal intercept or intercepts, we set f of x equal to zero and then solve for x. If we set f of x equal to zero, we have the equation zero equals x squared plus three x minus 10. Notice how we have a quadratic equation. Let's see if we can factor the right side. If it does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors. Because the first term is x squared, we have x and x in the first positions. And now we need to find the factors of negative 10 that add to positive three, which are positive five and negative two. And therefore the factors are x plus five and x minus two. The product on the right is equal to zero when x plus five is equal to zero or when x minus two is equal to zero. Solving for x, we have x equals negative five or x equals positive two, which means we have two horizontal intercepts. One horizontal intercept is negative five comma zero and the other is two comma zero. We will verify this graphically in just a moment. Next we have f of x equals five x plus seven. This is a degree one polynomial function and therefore this is a linear function. To find the horizontal intercept, we set f of x equal to zero, which gives us zero equals five x plus seven. To solve for x, we first subtract seven on both sides, which gives us negative seven equals five x, and then divide both sides by five. Simplifying, we have x equals negative seven fifths, and therefore the horizontal intercept is negative seven fifths comma zero, or as a decimal, we can write negative seven fifths as negative 1.4, so we'd have negative 1.4 comma zero. Let's verify these horizontal intercepts graphically. For the quadratic function, one horizontal intercept is this point here with the ordered pair negative five comma zero. The other horizontal intercept is this point where the ordered pair is two comma zero. And then for our linear function, the horizontal intercept is this point. This is where the line intersects the horizontal axis. The order pair for this point we know is negative seven fifths comma zero, or if we wanted, negative 1.4 comma zero. Let's look at two more examples. Here we have f of x equals the square root of the quantity 36 minus three x. This is a radical function, or more specifically because we have a square root, we can call this a square root function. To find the horizontal intercept, we set f of x equal to zero, which gives us the equation zero equals the square root of the quantity 36 minus three x. To solve for x, we need to undo the square root by squaring both sides of the equation. Squaring will undo the square root on the right side. On the left, zero squared is zero. On the right, squaring undoes the square root and leaves us with the radicand of 36 minus three x. And now we solve for x by first subtracting 36 on both sides, which gives us negative 36 equals negative three x. We divide both sides by negative three. Simplifying, we have x equals negative 36 divided by negative three is positive 12, giving us a horizontal intercept of 12 comma zero. The next function is also a square root function. 
To find the horizontal intercept, again, we set f of x equal to zero, which gives us zero equals the square root of the quantity two x minus eight. Once again, to undo the square root and solve for x, so we square both sides of the equation, which gives us zero equals. Squaring undoes a square root and leaves us with two x minus eight. Next up, add eight to both sides, giving us eight equals two x. And then we divide both sides by two. Simplifying, we have x equals four, giving us a horizontal intercept of four comma zero. Let's verify these graphically. For the first square root function, the horizontal intercept is this point here, represented by the ordered pair 12 comma zero. And for the second square root function, this is the horizontal intercept. This point is represented by the ordered pair four comma zero verifying our work is correct. I think we'll stop here for this video and look at some more examples in the next video.